Revelation 853, from the 7th of April 1939. Jesus suffering and death. Hour of death. The soul suffers if it loves. And that is why the Savior has exemplified his suffering to you, and this out of love for mankind. When you remember his hour of death, your heart will also feel deep sorrow, if you have glowed with love for the Savior and offered your heart to him. In the agonizing hour of death, his body was subjected to unbearable pain. He felt the shame of the exaltation on the cross twice over, because his own children beat him at the stake and shouted scorn and derision in his face. No other man on earth has suffered what Jesus took on his sanctified shoulders out of love for mankind, nor has anyone resolved his earthly life in such torture, and yet the divine Redeemer did not fight his suffering and death. He voluntarily took it on his shoulders and thereby acquired eternal bliss for mankind. And so you also have to go through suffering and sorrow if you want to participate in the great work of redemption and its blessing. Consider that you also have to present your guilt of sin to the Savior, that you have to ask him to have mercy on your guilt of sin, and then the Lord in all love and gentleness will let himself be involved to avert your suffering, to keep everything away from you and to redeem you from the guilt of sin because his goodness and gentleness is indescribable, he includes all in his love who want to belong to him and trustingly reveal their suffering to him. To them he is a savior from all misery, he protects them from all adversity, and he transforms everything oppressing them into the state of freedom and redemption, the soul is freed from its burden, and full of help and relieved of all worries the earthly child hands itself over to the grace of the Father in heaven. And it will not ask in vain for the help of the divine Saviour, if it only remembers the hour of the Lord's suffering with faith and deepest compassion and is ready to bear all its suffering devotedly in God's will for the redemption of mankind from the sleep of death to eternal life. Amen.